Hey guys, Mike from CCTV Camera Pros here. In this video, I'm doing some nighttime license plate capture and automatic license plate recognition testing using our Vutron LPR camera that I mounted at my house. And if you've watched my previous couple of videos, you know that, that that camera is mounted in a way less than ideal situation when it comes to license plate recognition. Because normally we would recommend installing a license plate recognition camera uh, where my mailbox is, right next to the road, down low, with a direct angle of view to a license plate capture and license plate detection zone. Uh, but most homeowners uh, don't don't have that ability to, to have a pole out by the road. So I installed this here uh, about, a, about a week and a half ago to do some testing. And what I found was while the automatic license plate recognition, uh, the, the automatic detecting of the numbers and letters on license plates is very difficult with this camera set so far back and with such an angle to the road, but it works really well for license plate capture, which is the ability to record a plate clear enough so that when a person is reviewing recorded video surveillance footage, it's clear enough for a human to recognize all the letters and numbers on the plate. So in addition, uh, I am using a second camera out here in front of my house, that one behind me, to detect cars as they pass by this license plate capture zone so that I can easily go back and, and, and see all the plates uh, by looking at thumbnails of the uh, vehicle detection rather than manually looking through, you know, hours and hours of video footage, which is extremely time consuming. Anyways, uh, uh, let's take a look at the video. This is for uh, nighttime license plate capture. Uh, I had a guy contact me on YouTube, said, wow, the daytime license plate uh, capture looks great, but what about nighttime? So I did both rear license plate and front license plate license plate capture, and here's the results. Here's the live security camera view on my Vutron NVR. The security camera in the upper left is the Vutron AI camera that I set up to automatically detect vehicles when they drive past my house. I will put a link below to the video where I show you how the vehicle detection zone is set up, as well as the license plate detection setup. The camera in the upper right is the Vutron LPR camera. Notice how dark the LPR camera video appears when it's in IR night vision mode. This is intentional and necessary to capture license plates effectively and is one of the reasons that we always recommend using a second camera to provide an overview in license plate capture applications. So now I'll play back some recorded video surveillance footage. So I'm going to go down here and select intelligent analytics and then I'm going to select yesterday for the day. And I first want to show you that the license plate recognition camera is automatically detecting plates and recognizing numbers automatically in some cases. So let me just show you that first. So we'll, we'll choose plate detection and license plate recognition events here. We already chose the license plate recognition camera and we'll click search. And in a minute, you'll see all the thumbnail images of all the automated license plate recognition events that took place yesterday. So it looks like this was the only one we captured when it was dark out. So I'm going to uh, click on this one and then click playback. This will start playback of the LPR camera and I'm going to pause it and zoom in there so you could see uh, plate was captured perfectly clear. And I'll zoom back out and click play again. And then when I'm done, I'll click on the X down here in the lower right to return to the search screen. So now I want to show you that uh, although sometimes when the license plate is on, on, not automatically detected, I'm going to show you how I use that overview camera to jump to all the license plate capture events, events where I can read the plate, but they weren't automatically detected. So I'm going to narrow down the time frame here uh, to just when it was dark out early in the morning, and I'm going to change from the license plate recognition camera to my AI overview camera. And then I need to change the, uh, the, the detection type from license plate recognition to intrusion. And then for the target type, I'm going to select motor vehicle. Now when I run this search, you'll see it's, it's not the, uh, the license plate thumbnails, but it's the thumbnail images of the vehicles driving by in that, uh, that overview camera that I'm using. 
So I'm going to select one of these events by uh, clicking on that checkbox in the upper left of the thumbnail image. I'll just uh, select this one here and click playback. And that'll start playback from that AI overview camera. I'm going to pause it there. And now I'm going to switch to the four screen mode so we can also see the LPR camera. Of LPR cameras in the upper right, I'll double click on it so we go full screen view. And I'll pause the video there and zoom in on the plate. And you could see uh, that you could read every one of those numbers and letters clearly. When I'm done, I'll just start playing the video again, and then I'll exit back to the search screen, and we'll do another search here. And now I want to play back uh, footage of a front license plate capture event. So again, here's all the thumbnail images of the vehicles being detected as they drive by my house. And I want to select one where a vehicle is going the other way. Uh, we don't have front plates in Florida, so I need to select me driving by because I temporarily put a plate on the front of my car. And I'll play that, play that back, pause it again, go to the four screen mode, switch to the LPR camera, and then I'll rewind it so we can bring the vehicle back into view. And then I'll just run it forward a little bit so I can get the license plate closer. and pause that one here and we'll zoom in on the plate and you can see again the front license plate capture is really great as well so I'll zoom back out start the video again and then when I'm done I could click the X in the lower right to exit out of the playback screen guys I hope this video has been helpful as you saw in this video although the automatic license plate recognition is not reliable at this uh, huge distance from the road the 35 foot setback and the extreme angle over to the license plate uh, uh, capture zone the license plate capture is really reliable so i can go back and review all the plates that pass by my house and see them uh, perfectly clear in almost every situation so uh, what we're going to be recommending going forward is, yeah, for automatic license plate recognition, if you need to automatically detect the plates on the NVR and compare it to a database, if you're doing some gate access integration or you, you just need that automation of, of logging these plates in a database, then you really need to mount the camera according to our original license plate recognition guide, which with much less of a setback and much less of an angle than I have here at my house. But for homeowners looking for an excellent license plate capture solution, um, which most homeowners don't need automatic license plate recognition, license plate capture is just fine. Um, our new Vutron LPR IP4 is working excellent. So we, we are going to be recommending to people that for license plate capture, you can move these cameras further back, have a capture zone at a greater distance and at a greater angle. Anyways, if you have any questions about any of this, feel free to reach out to me anytime. I can be reached directly at mike at cctvcamerapros.net. If you want to see additional license plate capture and license plate recognition videos uh, using our Vutron LPR camera and NVR, please visit www.cctvcamerapros.com slash LPR. Thank you for watching.